Gather around, children. You too. All right. I have never heard this story before. Yeah, I know. It's not like he wrote it or anything. No. All right. This is the story about how he was born. We've been waiting for this for quite a while. Anyway, let's begin. Patrick. Patrick was different. As a baby, there was something peculiar about him. Nobody could understand it. Nobody could comprehend it. However, the first time he logged onto a computer, he was instantly friended by 600 people. As he grew older, his Instagram followers went to 150, to 500, to 100,000, to negative 15, to 1 million. In the span of a week, this was Patrick's power. The power to gain billions of friends on social media. If only that was true. <laughs> the government noticed immediately. They sent two agents into Patrick's old home and parents. The agents meant his real mother and father, who had accidentally adopted a kid that kept in a dog cage. They had no need for an, an other uglier child. They had no idea about its hidden talents, so they sold him off for half a burrito and an old churro. Are you too saying? Much. Are you they saying my real parents? Much. Whoever bought you paid too much. The government. Are you saying I'm the government Mexican? Paid too much. <laughs> are you saying I'm Mexican? <laughs> no. Okay, this is literally just the <laughs> South Park okay. backstory for the main character. <laughs> you got it. The, agent, reference to this. the agents brought him I'm back. I wouldn't Shut up, Brandon. No one loves you. The anyway, agents continue. brought him back <laughs> and started to me. run experiments. They took nope. his okay. talent away from him and turned it into a liquid, then disposed of the child. The power <laughs> was now in liquid form and was supposed to be safe. White little Patrick lay there, dying, when the souls of the other children just like him gathered around him. <laughs> No, like, stop, stop, stop. They, like him, were experimented on and then killed. But they could save this one. They combined their powers and their races in order to bring Patrick back as a Melungeon, a Melungeon, Melungeon, Maladin, Mac and Cheese. The ultimate race with the power of every race. The smartness of Asians, the privilege of the whites, the strength of black, and some other feature of other races. Patrick, with his newfound power, was going to get revenge. Patrick woke up, looking around the room. He had aged significantly after being revived. He was now 12. Then he saw the ghosts of the children and screamed. I mean, if he saw the ghosts of dead kids with no contest, you could be scared too. He took out his trusty vacuum cleaner from his shirt cart and quickly swept them away. As he walked down the halls of the experimental lab, he found a paper clip on the floor. He kept walking and saw two guards with their backs turned. He needed to disarm them, but how? He chucked the paper clip in the back of the guard's neck. Now, by pure chance, the paper clip bounced off of the back of the neck and hit a mouse scurrying by beneath him. The mouse then ran into a wall, causing the ants living inside to scurry out the building. The ants alerted the native ant <laughs> the anteater. Ant 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 who ate like crazy, but since the anteater was distranced, a puma killed him. <laughs> but since the puma was distracted, it was caught by some humans. The humans brought it back and then were arrested for animal abuse. It turned out that these humans were natively North Korean. America de declared war on North Korea. And North Korea was able to launch one missile before the ever-living shit was blown out of it. And it went from North Korea to Co the Korean Sea. <laughs> All because he threw a picture <laughs> It just so happened, this one missile crashed into the guards at the base, opening an exit. Patrick, thinking that paperclip was explosive, <laughs> looked around and des destroyed the base. The liquefied follower juice was mostly destroyed, but Patrick drank what was left and escaped. He went to some foster parents and a little sis brother named William. The end. Oh, 
I gotta yeah, find that too. Beautiful. Um, yeah, it's funny because.